something. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. All right. Everybody open that. All right. Shoot. Shoot. Thank you. Shoot. So here, here's what I'm going to ask you right off the bat. Are you going to dance in this freaking thing or what? <laughs> the dance episode. Or not. No. No dance. What dance is? Don't you know, get a I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. No, there'll, be no, there'll be no singing and no. Spring time for him. No, nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. I think, I, think, I think Captain Jack can sing it too. Well, I think yeah. he probably can too. Maybe Ru maybe Russell will put, it, put me in a karaoke. Come on, no. <laughs> But, but, like we have a karaoke night, but again, if we did that, I couldn't sing seriously. I'd have to be silly about it because really? it just no, it wouldn't feel right. Really? It wouldn't feel right. Just let me fuck. Don't let me sing. Centimeters or inches? Oh. Oh. Michael Hyman! <laughs> Not his favorite table what anymore! We're getting dirty here. Well, I, I like it. Dogs make it better I than like Jane did. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You have to say, oh my god. Oh. You just worked on Capricorn before that, so you have to really? say gods. Okay. Not okay. god, gods. Okay. All right. So, question, all right, question number two. I don't want to be a hog, guys. But question two. That's question three, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. oh, I'm giving you a freebie. The store has a lot of sexual, um, what, well, how can I say this? Um, Shows. Lenience. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for you, playing this role, what can you do to kick your shit up notches unknown? What can you tell us? Well, put it Just in give us a strand of no, hair. No, no, One little tiny baby I hair. shave. I oh, okay. <laughs> Um, the, the Can we thing, see that? Yeah, no. <laughs> the, um, the, the thing that we do is our sex is for... It, it, it has to be part of the story. We can't just have gratuitous sex. But one thing that I'm really proud about in, in this series, and I'll be totally honest with you, you know, the, 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 on, the, what's on tonight is that there's just basically a, a, a scene where he goes to, to fuck, right? Because he's mortal, he has never experienced that kind of the feelings before, he's always been very hard, cold, and you know, he can sleep, he can get drunk, he can lay next to someone and really be passionate about it. So he's going out to get laid. But there's episode five that's coming up is one where we explore and it's a we explore a past relationship of Jack's where we get um, and Russell gave it Russell said to Eve and I this is a, his gift to us in the writing um, we also find out a lot about Jack and Gwen's relationship and it's not what you think you might it's going to go down a path that you didn't think you were going to go down but this relationship that Jack get, gets involved in, I'm really proud of it because if I were a young man growing up and watched a TV series like that or had a network like Stars that was showing how people actually do have sex and behave, right? right. right. And not pretending that it doesn't happen. That's a great we, point. We have a relationship, I have a relationship with this man and it's a truly passionate right. love Real. real relationship and I, you see two men making love. You yeah. know, I, I jokingly I say that because, you know, I, there's the fuck happens in this episode but the passionate love romantic relationship between two men happens in this one coming up and it is stunning and and you know they fall in love and then they make love right. you're getting me are fucking you? hot like right now fabulous Jeez. just make sure you wipe the seat when you get up <laughs> John are you are you happy that this is you're on funny. stars are you happy that this is on stars and not on Fox where you can explore something I didn't, like this I didn't know uh, I mean I knew that Fox were interested but again that was that's not my right. yeah. not my but, but you would be able right. to do a lot most of this no, no, you probably wouldn't. And if we had had to have changed our tone, and it wasn't going to be, you know, Jack would. If they would have changed Jack's omnisexuality or his bisexuality, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have been part of it because it's important to me. And I don't want to sound like an old-fashioned person saying, you know, we got to move on and move things, and you know, da da da. Because American television, to be honest with you, has the most gay characters on it in the world. Yeah, they may be stereotypes, but at least we have them there. A lot of places you can't have that. So it's 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 not that case that they're not represented. Excuse me, people aren't represented like that. But I I really it was really important for us to have to to continue this on. And yes, Stars is the place for it. They said to us, we don't want you to change anything. We want this wonderful show that you have, but we just want to make it bigger and better. 
That's awesome. So, so I'm the, glad we're there. With all the, the, this, the, the romance and, you know, and, and Jack, like, now having this new experience with sex in general, it, uh, are the Anto fans going to get a little, uh, get a little something? Are you, like, are you worried about, well, you know, I mean, like, there, there's so many people, <laughs> well, again, so again, people feel like, like Yanto is Jack's one true, right? I totally, you know? I totally get that, but I, I, I have to be honest when I'm asked questions like that because it's not my decision for no, any yeah, of those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. So I can't really answer that. If they get upset, they get upset. Totally. I, and I understand. And, but, but what makes me, what I love about that is that they have been so hooked in and that that storyline works so incredibly that yeah. they're pissed off about it. I, I, love, I think that's great. Totally. But okay. I do want them to come on the journey. I want them to be, you know, they can still be angry. I mean, people are angry that I sacrificed my grandchild. Yeah. <laughs> but they still watch the show. Yeah. And you can, and it's great that every so often they'll say, I still miss Yanto. That's fine. I love that because he is mentioned. We do, and those relationships are what build the character and the stories to where we are now. But this relationship happened before that. Gotcha. So it might tell you of how I got to that yeah. point. Gotcha. Well, that's kind of what I was asking whether there was a message on Google. Is, By the way, good boobs. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone would like you to hear that. Yes. <laughs> They're nice. <laughs> how, how, how has Jack's mortality affected his character? You talked about like he's acting kind of like he's 20 years old now. Yeah. So how, how are you playing that differently in your well, head? Well, I think there's more vulnerability. See, I say that, and then I look at back at the past performances and I watch, but I've always played Jack with a bit of vulnerability. Yeah. I think that's what makes him a good, a, a good hero. But here you have vulnerability with a little bit of fear. Because his mortality all of a sudden has made, made him realize that he could be gone. And then you've got this character now, from if we go back to his immortality, I've already said this because I might have said it at another table, and I apologize if I'm repeating myself. You've all of a sudden got this man who now has been uncomfortable with immortality. And now he's mortal. But which one does he really want? And you find out. Really? You find out. You find out. Okay. Does he get to choose? I'm not telling you. No. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't make that decision. No. Does he call upon anybody from, let's say, another dimension? Doctor. No. <laughs> no. Doctor Who would not make an appearance on Torchwood because Never? no, because the Doctor Who is a family based show and for him to come on to it would be cross branding that wouldn't really? work yeah. totally really? I can go back to Doctor Who because my character is very different on who as to what it is in Torchwood yeah. and it's that's a, a good point yeah and it's yeah. and also the doc yeah the doctor uh, I'd love for him to come up but I don't think I don't think it would be in within what they call the the the, the, the branding and or whatever of the shows yeah, yeah. and you Matt have both both said Captain, you want Captain Jack back for the 50th would, anniversary? Matt said it yesterday. I think it would be here. great. It would be. I think it would be it awesome. You know, and if Matt wants it to happen, it's, it's you know it's his show now. I'm happy to come back. Um, I've always said, you know, I love Doctor Who. We, I came from that mothership, and I would be proud always to be asked back and to go back. But it's up to, you know, the fans letting them know that they want Jack. Apparently, apparently is one of the most requested characters to come back on Absolutely. Doctor Who. So if you guys want it to happen, it's you guys that need to make it happen. Jack, Jack's appearances on Doctor Who are always incredibly special. I mean, it's, it's that special guest star that comes on, you know, and he's a know, muscle and he's the humor. You know I think it's because you also know the relationship. Absolutely. With that he, re again, he loves, Jack loves Gwen. It's not a sexual love, right? right? It's a it's a love of the person, the humanity. But the, the thing about the Doctor is Jack actually, actually goes a little weak need with him. It's the Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's that. Yeah. And I think it would be interesting to see you and the the, the chemistry between, between you and Matt. Yeah, you know, we've seen you with Chris. Seen I think it would be good. You and Matt would be. I think yeah. it would be, be really awesome. Be yeah. 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 Of course, there would be a crack oh about how Oh my gosh! Then I would be one of the few because Sarah Jane. God love her. She was oh, Elizabeth. Yeah. She was with three different. Yeah. Yeah. Right and I would be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's really sad. I loved her. To, uh, she, she and I, uh, she lived in my my uh, apartment in, in uh, uh, Wales. And she and I, when I met her in the elevator, I was so gobsmacked. And the first day I met her, and then she turned to me and she said, I love Captain Jack. She said, Sarah Jane, although she doesn't agree with the, the violence, 
she would love to do something with Cat, you know, to be. That would be so super. And I was so, I, yeah. you know, it's one of the things I would love to have happened to have. I got to do the, the Who episodes, but yeah, I would yeah. love to have gone on Sarah Jane with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And you did get you did get that moment in the TARDIS. Well, she, she and I both held hands when Davros came out. Right. Yeah. Both because I grew up with it. Yeah. She was yeah. found it as one of the most frightening ones, you know. And we both looked at each other, and they actually have a shot of it, and you see us, and the fear in our faces is just like two kids. Oh, loved amazing. it. Loved it. Yeah. Amazing. That's anyway. awesome. Sorry, we got to